Kia ora, my name's Anna and I'm from String Bean Puppets. Have you noticed all the bears gathering in the windows in your neighbourhood? If you go down to the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bear there ever was has gathered there for a certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic? Did somebody say picnic? This is Samuel, and he's the bear that lives at my house, and he loves picnics. But Sam, we don't have time for a picnic today. We're making puppets. Oh, but you can't make puppets on an empty stomach. Surely you have time for just one sandwich. One sandwich? I'm sure we can make time for one sandwich. Sandwich? Did somebody say sandwich? Well, yes. I was just offering everyone a sandwich before the puppet making started. But I'm not a sandwich. You're not? No. I'm a sandwich. <laughs> and I am here to put a nasty spell on all of you. Oh no, not a sandwich. Oh. oh dear, that's no good. But we better start our puppet making. Today we're going to make teddy bear puppets. Pop up teddy bear puppets. So to make our pop-up teddy bear puppets, you're going to need a paper cup. If you don't have a paper cup, you could use something like a little bottle that a pot plant came in, or you could use a bottle, or you could use a yogurt container, or a honey container, or a toilet roll. Have a look in your recycling and see what you can find. You're also going to need a sock. So hopefully you have some odd socks or slightly worn out socks lying around that you can use. You're also going to need some stuffing. This is the stuffing that you find inside a pillow, but if you don't have this, you could scrunch up some newspaper or scrunch up some plastic packaging, or some fabric scraps or some wool scraps, anything like that. And you're going to need a stick. You could have a piece of driftwood or you could have a popsicle stick. You're going to need to have some loom bands or elastic bands. If you don't have any loom bands or elastic bands, you can use some string, some wool, and then you're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need some double-sided sticky tape or a hot glue gun, something that you can use to stick things on. You'll also need some paper or, and some pens. So, so, we're going to start off with our teddy bear's head. Now this sock is really long, so I'm going to cut it a bit shorter. We don't need it so long. I'm going to cut it about here. There we go. Now, to make our teddy bear's ears, we just need a little bit of stuffing and a little ball. And we'll put it right at the toe of the sock. And then wrap a loom band or elastic band around. And of course you could wrap string and tie it tight around as well. And we'll do the same, that's one ear. And we'll do the same with the other, to make the other ear. Just another little ball of stuffing 
at the toe of the sock, just like that. And another elastic band around it. Then our kitty has got his two ears. Now for the head, the head is just a bigger ball of stuffing. So that, and then I'll stuff that into the toe as well. There we go. And secure that with another loom band or elastic band. Now it's time to make the teddy's face. You could draw straight onto your sock or you could use something like sticky dots to make eyes or you could use something like googly eyes or buttons. So I've got some paper here and I'm just going to draw some eyes onto my paper, just like this. And I'll draw a nose too. Cut ribbon. Now I'm going to cut them out. I've already put some double sided sticky tape on the back of this piece of paper. So I'll be able to stick it straight on to my teddy bear. But uh, you could use hot glue to do that as well. And the nose. Here we go. You can play around, when you're making your puppet, you can play around with where you put your eyes because you can see that your bear has different expressions depending where you put your eyes. Close together, further apart. Very cute though. So next is time to put the stick inside. Now the stick goes into the neck. Uh, so you have to... Now, if you have some hot glue, it will help to put a bit of hot glue on the end of your stick to secure it in there. Otherwise, you just use the loom band, the elastic band, a bit of string to um, secure it. And you can even put another one around nice and tight if you need to. Let's just poke it in there. There we go. Now it's time to put him into his little pottle so he can hide. So you're going to need to... Cut off the bottom of your cup or your um, your bottle, like that. Just cut off the bottom so I can poke the bear through. And now the sock just goes around the outside of the cup. Now I've already stuck double sided sticky tape around the edge, so that will just stick down there. You could use a, a elastic band to secure it as well, or you could use hot glue. Or you could get a stapler and staple it around. So there he is. So now you can decorate your teddy bear and your cup. So I, you can decorate your cup by colouring it in or if you've got some coloured paper. I'm going to stick some coloured paper around it and I'm going to cut the paper sort of in a zigzag way. So it will be like grass. Looks like my bear is popping out of the grass. You could colour it in, you could paint it, you could stick on fabric. There we go. Yeah. 
Here he is. Look. Out of the grass. And you might like to add some more decorations to your teddy bear, give him a little bit more character. You could give him some, some glasses made out of pipe cleaners. Or you could make him a little hat. I've made my teddy bear a little hat. I'm going to just put it over his ear there, like that. We might like a little ribbon or something like that. There we go. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Boom! Boom! So you can adapt this puppet to make all sorts of different creatures, not just teddy bears. So, here, what's hiding inside this bottle, I wonder? So this is a little cat that I made. It's got some whiskers here, and a little bell. And it's just inside, he's just hiding inside a uh, cream bottle. And what's hiding in the grass here? Ribbit! Ribbit! So instead of making ears, I made big eyes for this frog puppet. Ribbit! So there's lots of surprising creatures you can make. Lots of interesting puppets. Hope you'll have lots of fun making puppets. Happy puppet making!